of my all of my streams being chatting streams and me tangenting all the time. Let me tell you about something that happened to me. I went to the post office today and the moment I entered, there were already like 30 people or so. I had to pull a number out of a machine and there were like so many people. They were all like sitting there waiting. It looked like they were waiting forever and they, nobody seemed amused. And I saw at the very front, at the counter, there was only one lady, so yeah, it was very really obviously a problem of not enough people working on that day. But you know, it do be like that sometimes. I took the number and I was waiting and waiting and waiting. And in total, I waited like maybe 50 minutes until I was done. I was I was in the post office for 50 minutes, which is fine. I mean, I was chilling. <laughs> but in that time frame, something happened. But well, first, before that incident, I noticed that the lady, the one lady, the single lady who was working, she would yell out the numbers like 98, 99, 100, like really angrily and like after one second she would call out the next one because she was really stressed out, I guess. It was so tense. <laughs> when somebody would come up to her uh, after they were called, she would be like, yeah, what do you need? Passport? Nah, blah, 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 blah. Like, really short words, loud and tense. So the whole atmosphere in the room was really tense as well. And sometimes the customers would come up to her and ask her like, what, what's, what's wrong? Like, you, know, you good? Like, you, maybe, maybe take a chill pill? Like, you know, we understand you're alone here. Like, I, I personally found it kind of scary. Her bad mood was kind of scary to me, but I mean, it was understandable, you know? I was thinking, I was reminded about the times uh, when I was working at a hotel reception as a trainee and then had like, I was alone and I had like 20 people to check in and I was not even that good yet. So I wasn't very fast and I was super feeling super pressured and they were all individual check-ins, no groups, etc. So like, I, I remember like how stressful that is. And I mean, obviously you don't want to stand here alone and obviously um, you would appreciate help too, but it is what it is. You have to deal with the situation the way it is. So, you know, I was feeling kind of bad for her. And I'm sure that many people, where, no matter where you work have made similar experience right so the whole atmosphere in the room was kind of like yeah we understand it's fine but she do be in a bad mood thus that's not the best but all right you know it is what it is we're waiting 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 eventually this tall adult relatively old maybe 45 year old man shows up at the counter and it's his time he got called right so he goes up to the counter he talks to the lady he immediately pulls out like some letters i was standing really close to the counter just chilling and he shows some letters and then like he he still talks relatively in a normal tone like in terms of volume at least um but i can hear it very clearly pretty much so he shows the letters and he's like talking about something like he has a bank account at the post office a bank thingy and they're closing it and basically he like either the in the letters he's been kind of being summoned to go do something uh or it's it, it has been closed and like there's no reason for it so he wants to know the reason so he goes to them to ask for the reason but they're like yeah we can't tell you like it's not some some info it's not an information that we have we can't give you this information so sorry and then he's like getting agitated that he waited an hour and that he was here yesterday too and that some other employee told him uh like i guess on the phone or from another post office they told him to go here and then you're telling me that i need to go there blah blah blah, blah, blah. like he's getting agitated and i'm starting to feel anxious because he's getting louder he's getting more disrespectful and the lady is obviously already stressed out because she has like 30 people waiting in the room at all times it's not getting less and she only has like like one more person in the post office who's been like doing some stuff in the back with the packages and she asks her to come by to deal with him because he's just getting really annoying so they step one meter to the side to still talk at the counter really loudly and he gets louder and louder and like really unfriendly and it, this whole time i'm i'm in my in my heart i don't want to say it. this is like 
anxiety attack or whatever because I don't know what an anxiety attack feels like. I don't know. But I was getting, I, I was feeling really anxious and like tense and like I want to bang my head against the wall. Please stop screaming uh, or uh, like I don't, I don't like this at all. I've been, I was feeling like really uh, not comfortable at all listening to this conversation and it wasn't stopping. Like they obviously told him five, ten times that they couldn't help him. And yet, he keeps on repeating the same shit and doesn't leave. But then, after uh, he even like asks, like, who is the boss? And then the lady says, me. <laughs> and then he's like, you, you're the boss. <laughs> And then he, he starts changing the topic. Instead of complaining about them not being able to give him this information, he now complains about the fact that there's no one else here working. This post office, you only have one person working here. It's so shit, like unbelievable what's going on here. And then while he like yells this, he looks around in the room, kind of like talking to us as if we are his uh, nakama, his uh, uh, companions, I don't know, his colleagues. Like we're on his side and we're all pissed out off just like him. No, like, we're all kind of like, yeah, maybe annoyed at waiting so long, but at uh, the point where you started yelling at the lady, I think we all in our heads were thinking, you're the annoying one. You're the, you're the bad one. Not the ladies. Like, they can't do anything about it, right? That they're understaffed. But, yeah, he's, like, turning around and, like, trying to get everyone involved, basically. Like, he's almost acting like a drunk person. Um, yeah, no self-awareness. And gets, like, so mad. And the lady, the, the, the boss, supposedly boss lady, I don't know if she really is, but she was like, yes, I, bet. I am the boss. She's so calm and composed and she's just like smiling and nodding and then also saying like please calm down like please talk normally if you want a, a conversation you know she's trying she's just staying so cool and i really liked how she was handling it but what i was surprised about is that this was going on for like five six seven minutes and no one in the room there's like so many adults even like older people like 60 year olds 70 year olds People with a baby were there. No one's saying anything. Like, the whole room, they all looked older than me. Like, I was like small, small girl with broken pants. Um, no, at this point I had my proper pants, the not broken ones. <laughs> Thankfully, but like no one's saying anything and it's so tense in this room and uh, everybody's watching the situation But no one's saying a single thing. No, I don't know I feel like in in a country like Austria at, at some point somebody will say something because um, I don't know we don't I, I, I know people don't like to ha be involved in the hassle But I, I feel like our mentality normally people would say something in Austria I think that is our mentality. Especially when there's just one guy who is being super ridiculously stupid and everybody else is just like chilling, you know? Like if it's just one guy, then somebody I feel like would say something. But I was getting more and more tense, like I want to bang my head against something. Like I really, really don't like the situation, and he's just getting so unfair. And I'm thinking of the times where I was working alone and, and in front of 50 people checking in and so stressed out, and it just really pissed me off. And I, I was like, I can't stop myself. I have to say something. Like this is pissing me off because he's now complaining not about the original thing anymore, but he's complaining about how how they're alone here, how they suck and how post office sucks blah 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 for only every one person how incompetent they are and so on so i said i suddenly from the sideline yell over to them so you think they like that huh of course they're not enjoying that either like do you really think they're enjoying this it's not their choice that they're that they're working alone surely they would like to have some more colleagues to work with alongside them so can you fucking blame them and while i'm saying these things he first doesn't even turn around i don't know if he's not registering it but he, he takes him some time to turn around towards me <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm saying this, I'm shaking. I'm shaking, but I can't hold it back. I have to say something. And obviously, I was in the right. But, like, I'm trying to protect them. Because it's pissing me off and I want him to leave. Like, why is he not leaving when they obviously can't help him? They have said it clearly a million times. So I say these things. I try to defend them. I'm like... Do we obviously they they would love some help like they don't choose to be understaffed then he turns around and he looks at me and he's like a lot taller than me and like wider and uh, older and uh, scary attitude and looks at me and he's like what the fuck do you want ah shut up over there and i'm like that's that's where i get even more nervous of course but i i i'm like i can't back down just because i'm small i can't back down so i say 
Yeah, I stumble a little bit over my words, but I, I say something like, um... No, I say something because you're being fucking loud and annoying. Why don't you just leave? They obviously can't help you, so go. How about you just be quiet and go? <laughs> and then, and then, and then he... He actually, I don't, I kind of don't remember because I was too nervous um, how it, he really ended up leaving. But after, right after that, he kind of like walks out with the boss lady slowly, slowly, while still arguing and shouting around like, "Oh, this place sucks!" Blah 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 blah. But yeah, it kind of ends there, and I was really, really proud of myself for saying something because I really don't think they deserve that kind of shit. And then the boss lady, she comes back and she pats me on on my shoulder, on my back. Kind of like saying thank you to me. <laughs> and then she sees that I have some package. Uh, and even though it's w not my turn yet, she's trying to help me. Um, to see if it's something we can get done quickly. But no, it, it wasn't. But still, uh, she seemed to show gratitude. And I'm normally like, I wouldn't speak out in this kind of situation because I'm scared. I'm small. Like, I, I know I don't want to pick a fight with someone much older and taller than me. And separ uh, uh, opposite uh, gender, you know. But I just really couldn't stand being in the room with someone yelling like that and being unfair and then just fucking Karen, male Karen. <sighs> yeah, it really upset me. Normally I wouldn't do this because normally someone else will say something. Not me! Why do I have to say something? Yeah, I do think uh, somebody had to say something though. So I did it. <laughs> Between this and stepping on the salary. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting more assertive. I'm like not taking the shit of people anymore. I'm done. Yeah, I, my mom relieved he didn't like hit me or anything or get closer to me. <laughs> he did talk back a little bit, but like... Why? Why? Aren't you... You should be expecting that at this point someone's gonna say something. Because you're turning around trying to involve everyone in the room like they are on your side i'm just showing you that uh, we're not on your side dude mm -mm. yeah in that room he couldn't have hurt me anyway like i'm small and there were like 30 other adults in the room like if he would have done something sheesh whoa <laughs> 1.5 million angry chickens yeah he would have also gotten a lawsuit from me because i i have a lawyer now 